Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bosch. The number of clean diesel models in North America will double by 2014. Bosch Clean Diesel. Good. Clean. Fun. Bridgestone. Your journey. Our passion. Dow Automotive Systems. Improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. And by the 2013 Hyundai Sonata. Learn more at HyundaiSonata.com. Thanks for joining us for AutoLine Daily. Hey, we're already halfway through the week, but now let's get to the news. Well, today it is official. Battery company A123 filed for bankruptcy, and it looks like Johnson Controls will get its automotive battery operations. Johnson Controls, or JCI, is the largest battery supplier in the Americas. However, other companies will be able to bid on A123's assets in bankruptcy court, so it's not a sure thing that JCI will get it. You know, I keep saying that this electric car market is a financial disaster for the companies involved in it, and I believe that what's happening to A123 is only the tip of the iceberg. In related EV news, General Motors made it official that the Cadillac ELR will be built in the Hamtramck plant in Detroit. Of course, since this is the same plant that the Chevrolet Volt and Opel Ampera are made in, it didn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that the ELR would be made there either. I wonder if anyone out there believes the Cadillac ELR will sell any better than the other EVs that are floundering out there. Hey look, I'm not against new technology as long as the market wants it. And next on the high-tech list is Steer by Wire. Reuters reports that Nissan's luxury division, Infiniti, is working on a Steer by Wire system that could launch within a year. It would be the first of its kind in a mass market vehicle. Rather than a direct mechanical link to the front wheels, electronics and actuators would control the steering. In the event of an emergency, a backup clutch could engage to facilitate direct input. Steer by wire could open the door to new control interfaces like joysticks or even tillers. It might sound far fetched, but remember, aircraft have had fly by wire for years. So it's no surprise the technology is migrating to the automotive industry. <laughs> Here's a weird one. Kia is taking a unique, albeit somewhat tacky approach to attract new buyers. Time reports the South Korean automaker is working on a lineup of superhero themed Optima sedans. You heard me right, superheroes. A Batmanified Optima with logos and graphics is on the list. So are Superman, Green Lantern, and Wonder Woman, to name a few of the Justice League characters. Different models will be unveiled over the next 10 months. Pricing and availability have not yet been announced. The plan is a result of a partnership between Kia and DC Entertainment, and it'll actually help raise funds to fight hunger in Africa. Well, whatever it takes, I guess. Now for some racing news. Ferrari just renewed its contract with driver Felipe Massa through the end of the 2013 season, and Ford is dropping out of the World Rally Championship. The company expects to lose nearly a billion dollars in Europe this year and is cutting costs everywhere it can. The racing team M Sport, Ford's factory team since 1997, will continue to race the Fiesta WRC and it hopes to receive support from Ford in the form of vehicles and engineering. Right now, LEDs are the latest thing in automotive lighting, but lasers could be the next wave. Laser headlamps would be up to five times brighter than the best LED headlamps, and they offer new styling features. They can be put in very compact areas and could allow such functions as a picture beam and automatic dimming so as not to blind oncoming drivers. Coming up next, it is time for You Said It. You know why I pulled you over, ma'am? I need you to recalibrate the Doppler shift on the return signal. Radar's on the frisk. Do Sonata drivers know something you don't? The Sonata from Hyundai. And now it's time for some of your feedback. Jeff Taylor wants to know, how can Tesla avoid the warranty for using a non-Tesla service facility? I thought the Magnuson Moss Warranty Act prevented that. I know most manufacturers will not void your warranty as long as you follow the maintenance schedule. 
That's a great point, Jeff. And I bet the Tesla policy gets tested in the courts if it tries to force owners into its dealerships. SeaTech wants to know, please clarify for me. Is this Nissan Mercedes engine plant building the same four cylinder which will be shared by the C-Class and Nissan vehicles? Yeah, it is. The same engine, but look for different company names on the valve cover. Bradley saw our report on the new Explorer Sport and he says, the Explorer name on the front hood edge really looks Land Rover-esque. And of course, you're right, Bradley. Ford started doing this on the Flex Titanium Edition, and obviously they liked it so much it's starting to spread to other models. Ford started planning on doing this when it still owned Land Rover, and you know, I don't know why, but to my eye, it does make an SUV look more premium. I guess you can just count me in as another lemming. G.A. Brannigan says, I don't get it. Why the push for autonomous cars? What happened to the driving experience? If someone doesn't like to drive, there's public transportation. Come on, GA. What about disabled people or blind people? Or what about the elderly who need their cars for their personal freedom, but are hitting that age where they shouldn't be driving anymore? What about kids who are too young to have a driver's license? And as for public transportation, you go stand out in a driving snowstorm when it's 10 degrees outside and wait for the bus. Kit Gerhardt is puzzled. I thought Skoda was VW's lower cost brand. I guess the new one will be more lower. Had they thought of Trabant for this new brand? Wow, I love the idea of calling VW's new low cost brand Trabant. That's a known brand that's got a weird nostalgia going for it in some circles. And I guess that VW believes that Skoda is doing so well, it did not want to drag it down with El Cheapo cars. Hey, thanks for all your comments and letters. We truly do enjoy going through them. And then don't forget to tune in to AutoLine After Hours tomorrow night starting at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Our guest will be Hao Tai Tang, the Vice President of Engineering in Global Product Development at Ford, who will also be bringing the new Focus ST along with him. So join me and Peter DeLorenzo, the auto extremist, for the best insider information in the business. And that wraps up today's report. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.